We were very lucky to get the rights to the original uh, film that uh, David Michon did with Liz Watts, and uh, so it seemed like the perfect thing to do in Southern California. I'm a huge fan of John Wells. I was on Southland, so I just came out to support. Um, I'm excited to be here. I'm really excited to see how they've turned it into a series. My character is actually really twisted. Um, she's, she's not, I, I play a detective and I'm trying to bring the family down, but um, really, really twisted. I never know which way to play her. Is she good? Is she bad? But I think that's what's really great about the show is like, it's, it just, everybody's a little jacked up in the head. When's your character going to learn to just say no? It's a good question. I mean, um, I don't think he even knows that word yet. So I think he'll always get himself in these crazy situations. I think it's kind of what makes him fun and exciting. and. Maybe one day he'll learn when he's got some a reason to say no for. Every day there's there's kind of a moment where me and Ben or Finn will turn to each other and be like, is, is this our job? Like really? Like, I mean, we were in we were shooting in Oceanside and we had a couple like we had like an hour where we didn't have to shoot and me and Ben went out and went surfing and Finn still had to work and we got out of the water and we had our boards and they were shooting a scene like right down the pier from us and we waved to everybody like while we were just getting off. Of, surfing and we wave to them we're like hey how's the shoe going they're like hey good to see you you're in that huge like nude scene love scene with ben which, which one we've done so many nudes the very first one i think it was the first making love scene in the whole series oh is it oh okay well there you go i mean i'm glad i'm the first for something in this show because there's a lot of firsts so jay's actually like a really good uh, student and you're actually offering extra help is there something beyond extra help it kind of looked that way a little bit uh, you know, I I'll let you watch it and find out. I think she just really cares for him, you know. His mother just died. But yeah, there might be something more going on. <laughs> so many complex characters. Do you get a little bit of that in your character? Quite a bit, actually. Yeah. Uh, it's like everyone has ulterior motives. That's what's so awesome about this show, especially from an acting perspective. It's just like, you know, your character is on the surface one thing but they all have different agendas uh, I mean every single character when we start doing the show that he's kind of the uh, kind of the more measured guy but as the series goes on what was fun for me to play into is that he's really not I mean maybe that had something to do with me they, the writers saw that they could kind of push this guy in some not nice direction but it, it worked out well for me well, you, guys, you and Baz went at it in the swimming pool Speedman's actually a natural swimmer so what was that like? unfair it was an unfair advantage I think that's why they put it in the pool. They wanted him to win. Did you, can you beat him in sledgehammers, though? I could beat him in sledgehammers and tennis. Ben and Jake, I haven't surfed with um, Finn yet, but uh, they're just taking to They're starting to surf for the first time. So we got to go out surfing at Oceanside, like not, not for the show, just to go have fun. And um, it was pretty fun to watch them get their ass kicked by the waves. <laughs> but it was, uh, we had a blast, yeah. You're better actors than surfers. Hey, hey, all right, all right. You know, you know, we're getting better, okay? We're surfing. We're trying to surf as much as we can on our downtime. We get out there. But we do. We surf. We surf on the show. It's all, I mean, I'm telling you, 90% of the stuff you see is, is practical. I mean, it's us. Talk about keeping it authentic. That's actually the most difficult thing to do, really, is that, uh, for one thing, when you put out something and ask people to come and, and participate, they sort of get all dressed up and stop being exactly who they are when what we're really looking for is exactly who they are. So we go down, we spend a lot of time, we do a lot of research and walk around and look at a lot of people and we just stop people and ask them if they want to be extras because they're the people who live there and we want to really represent the community the way it is. Oceanside is amazing. Um, I think that they're more colorful than we are for the most part. Like I love the fact that they can be wearing bikinis and then going to the club at night and then going into the movie theater just throwing something on afterwards. I, I love the people in Oceanside. They were really engaged with the cast and the crew so it was really nice. Why do you think Ellen Barkin is as sexy as ever in this show? She's, it's, it's, she's so sexy, but it's her confidence. It's, she's just brilliant, and you just can't stop looking at her. One of the things that really makes Ellen sexy, she doesn't try to be. She really is just her. It's who she is. Um, and she's wonderful on the show. And we, she, I called her, asked her if she wanted to do it. She said, yeah, and it's just been a pleasure. She's just a quintessential, amazing badass of a woman. Oh my god, she is not only the sexiest, most powerful, she's just magnetic. You watch her, the camera, it can be on five different people and you just want to gravitate towards seeing how she's interacting with them because she's she's incredible. She's really dynamic and uh, she comes to 
work every day ready to go it's kind of crazy to watch her so you have to be on your toes ready to go when Ellen's on set you know she um, will give it to you uh, at the drop of a hat which keeps everybody, especially the younger actors um, you know prepared and, and it's a really good thing for us it's kind of crazy seeing her over the years and, and everything that she's done I mean I'm so inspired by her again being able to work with someone of her caliber and and she's, she's an amazing actress, and it's a pleasure to work with her, and it's also a pleasure to be her friend. She can pull something off, which is having intimate moments with her sons, which is kind of weird. What do you think about <laughs> I think to each their own, and I think that in this family, love has uh, plenty of different forms that it takes. Yeah, they're, they're, um, I don't really have a lot of words for that. That's... Uh, that's um, uh, not, not, that's it. Uh, mm. Well, you know, I think everyone expresses their own way of love in a different way and in fe uh, affection, and I think that's her way of showing it. I yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, the good thing is they're not actually related, so I'm sure they're probably digging it a little bit. <laughs> I love it, because where else, when else can you do that? When else can you be in these awkward situations with people? That's kind of a theme in the show, but um, they leave you hanging, though, you know, you've you're, you're kind of wondering what's going on there. I, I think it just adds that element of of intrigue with this this show. You know, it's the camera lingers long enough for the audience to go, "What the hell is going on there?" And I, I got to find out. And so that's just one layer of of the complex relationship that 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 Smurf has with each of her sons. You know, there it's not incestuous in a sexual sense. It is incestuous in a sense of a mother who just doesn't want to let any of her boys go and she's kept them very close and infantilized them in a way because they are the men in her lives so they've all become various versions of the husband that she wished she'd had and while it's a bit more extreme than a lot than most people's relationships with their mothers I think it is not extraordinary to have a mother that doesn't want to let go